Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do foot control steering on your kayak. I've got the NK180 motor. This works also for Torquedo, but stay tuned. Let's get into it. Now you really only need a couple of materials. So you need some tubing. This is quarter inch uh, sprinkler tubing. You need a set of foot pedals, some string, some clamps, and some screws is really all you need. A little bit of super glue and goop. But I'm going to put everything, I'm going to link it in the description, all the materials that you need. Uh, you'll only need a handful of tools. I've got my drills, drill bits, and a screwdriver. That's really all you need. So anyway, let's get into it. All right, so let's get started with the foot control steering first. These are my foot pedals. Picked them off of Amazon. I think they were like 45 bucks. Um, there's several different brands out there. You can get them from your local kayak store or wherever. I'm going to link these in the description um, so that they're easy for you to find. But I've already pre-drilled my holes. I've got a hole here and a hole here. And basically the way you want to do it is if you'll notice, I've got it set up where it's almost all the way to the front and it's probably down about an inch. And I'm using screws with a flat head on top. Um, the reason that is is because if you use like a pan head screw that's got the little bubble on top, then your pedals will catch when they slide through. So make sure you get a nice flat top screw. And I always use stainless, um, lasts longer with our extremely wet conditions in a kayak. But anyway, let's get this thing rolling. So we're just gonna screw in one side. Leave it a little bit loose so I can get the other side right. There we go. Had this thing out offshore fishing last week. It smells a little bit like cigar minutes. I think it needs a bath. But anyway, we'll snug it up. Don't go too tight. But just snug. That's perfect. So now we'll get into our tubing. All right, next up, we're gonna drill a hole right here and come around and drill one right there. Now, you'll notice that I've drilled just above the seam and it's in line <clears throat> with where the wings are on my motor. So I've already got this side done. You can see the string goes into there. We're gonna do the same thing on this side and we're gonna pass our tube through here. We're gonna catch it in here and then I'm gonna show you all how to feed it through the front. So now that we've got our pedals installed, we're gonna go ahead and install our tubing in the holes that we've drilled. We'll start in the back and fish it through a little bit. And we're gonna reach up here, find it, make sure that we're not twist it around anything. All right, now so we're gonna take a piece of wire and run it from the front cockpit in here because it's a lot easier to fish it back a few inches and find it. There it is. We'll make sure it's not connected to hooked anything. And then we're just gonna thread that wire inside our tubing a little bit and basically that's just going to act as a guide when we pull it back through so pull our wire through we're going to make sure we pull it up to about where we need it and then we're going to go glue the back and uh and then we'll install the tubing on the sides all right so now that we've got it run through i've got plenty of slack on the other end i'm going to go ahead and cut this probably a couple of inches long, cut my tubing so that it doesn't completely fall in there. That, that way it still sticks out a little bit. And then I'm gonna put my goop on it. A little goop. Kind of wrap it around, rub it around there and then stick it in where it's just sticking out about that far. And then we're gonna let that sit for a little while. Normally I'll use super glue, but since my hole's a little bigger, I'm having to use the goop, and it takes a little bit of curing time. So we'll probably let it sit for about an hour 
So now would be a good time to go ahead and work on the other side. And um, we'll come back once this is dried and I'll show you how to route the cables. All right, now that the tubing has had a chance to dry, we're gonna go ahead and route our tubing. And uh, the way I do it is, I, honestly, I reuse a lot of the screws that are already in the kayak. Um, that way, it's a minimal amount of holes that we have to drill. But we're gonna start right here at the back and pop off this one using these little clamps. And I'm gonna put the tubing on the top of the clamp so the screw will actually be on the bottom. And what that allows it to do is the tubing won't have to bend as much. It'll be more of a straight line and it'll be easier for the string to pass through. So I'm just gonna get it started and then I'm gonna pull just a little bit of tension from the back of the boat not too much because we don't want to pop it loose, but the tighter it is, the better it's going to work. So now that I've got it pulled tight, I'm going to screw that back on where it's just snug. And then reach in here and make sure that you're in a straight line. You don't have anything weird. Yep. Good deal. You don't want to be twisted around any rudder lines. So we're gonna pop off the next one, same as we did the last one. Just like that. All right. Now our next one, we're just gonna use this screw here, which is already in here to hold the foam up. So we're gonna pull this one loose. This screw's a lot longer since so it's going through that foam. Grab one of my pieces. Let's see which way's straight. All right, I want to have this one. Let's see, I think I could do it on the bottom. I think it'll be straighter for. All right, moving down. Get this one screwed on. next one my goodness I got people pulling up in cars dogs hollering garage doors open Hold on. all right moving on we're gonna go ahead and measure this one and cut it off just longer than where the clamp goes so this is actually one that I drilled previously so it's a little, this screw I probably stole out of a kayak at some point. It looks like one of the ones that go on the little through hole kits. But, that's gonna go on there. There you have it. It's ready for string. Let's run our steering cable. All right, now that we've got our tubing glued in and installed to the side of the kayak, we're gonna go ahead and run our steering cables. So we're just gonna thread it right through here from the back and it should go all the way to the front without really running into any issues. out just like that it comes out now what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna pull it where it's as far over as I want to turn and now I take my foot pedals and push it all the way forward and the reason I do that is it keeps me from from turning so tight that when I push on the other side it gets jammed up and it doesn't want to turn back so I always go to the furthest extent that I want to turn and uh, I'll mark it and then I'll tie a couple of overhand knots. There we go. All right, now I'm just gonna tie five or six overhand knots right here where I've got it. And that should make a nice, neat, secure 
steering cable. There you have it. Steering cable's done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was uh, informative and you were able to get some good hints on how to do it. Even if you don't do it exactly like I did, at least it should get you on the right path of how you want to do yours. But anyway, next up is the Harris chain. I'll leave out for that tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, I'll already be down there when this video gets released. So wish me luck in that. Hopefully, I have some great content for you guys. And uh, like always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if it helped you in any way. And we'll catch you later.